What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys a new video from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head season series. Today you're going to be watching game two of season two after we walked away with a close win in week one. And my opponent today is Frankie Moon who has a pretty decent team but much like mine doesn't have a lot of top-end talent. But he does have Drew Brees at quarterback and I also noticed that he has a few of the players who I've been highlighting in my budget series so maybe he's a fan. Either way though, I'm going to be looking to go 2-0. No remorse for the fans, sorry guys, but let's get things started with the gameplay. We got the ball first in this one and my opponent decided to move his defensive line inside and guys, that is never a good choice against me. I easily bounced this one outside with the outside zone. Massive gain on the first play of the game. Somehow I get taken down from behind despite having 102 speed Chris Johnson. Next play, it's Reggie Bush taking the ball out of the backfield, but he gets wrapped up and don't think I didn't notice that run commit. Very next play, I'm making it look like we're going to the outside again. We go play action though over the top. Walter Payton scrambles to the right, throws down the field. Trinan Holiday in coverage, comes up with it. Who says Trinan Holiday can't catch the ball in traffic? Nice touchdown there. We go up 7-0 on the first drive of the game. On defense now, and it's Drew Brees. He's going to fire it into coverage, but he makes the completion. A few plays later, it's Eric Dickerson off the left side. A similar play to my outside zone that I like so much. Not quite the same, but pretty similar in style at least. And now my opponent's going to try to go to work with some dink and dunk passes here. He's looking underneath. He knows that my defense has got good coverage players. And he's not really looking down the field too much, which is actually kind of surprising because when you play Madden Ultimate Team, that's pretty much the only thing that some people do. As you can see here, my run defense continued to play pretty well, although we were allowing a few first downs here and there. He throws it down the field here into coverage, oh, but Kevin it. McCourty lays the wood, and we pick up the ball. It's Alteron Vernon with the fumble recovery, and it's our ball again, and it's time to go to work on offense. My opponent commits to the run to the right side, and that is dangerous because QB Walter is going to take off on the read option and waltz into the end zone to put us up two scores early in this game. Back on defense, Drew Brees looking underneath, and it's Altron Burner again. He gets the interception, and we are again back on offense in scoring position here. And I figure I've hit him with a couple runs. Time to drop one off for a screen pass here to Chris Johnson, and he's going to score here to put us up three scores. There are only about three minutes left in the first half, and I know that my opponent's got to be passing here. That means I'm going to be trying to mix up some coverages here. Bringing blitzes, Altron Werner picks up a sack. He's got a fumble recovery, an interception, and a sack now at this point in the game. My opponent, though, continues to drop the ball underneath, below the coverage, and he's making smart reads for the most part. That time, he tried to throw it into coverage, and he somehow came up with it. Next play, he's looking underneath again. He's going to try to go to his halfback out of the backfield, and ooh, that was dangerous. Nearly intercepted. Now, he does have Drew Brees, which makes a lot of these type of throws that he's making here not quite as dangerous, but I know that if he keeps throwing the ball into coverage, eventually my guys are going to be able to come up with an interception. We're going to be able to make a play. I just need to be patient. I cannot let it frustrate me. He's going to get first downs every once in a while. He's going to be able to make plays, but eventually my guys are going to make an interception. And there it is. Alteron Berger, the player of the game, his second pick in this one. He's got two interceptions interceptions, a sack, and a fumble recovery. That one wrapped up the first half. Very first play of the second half, and he throws another pick, this time to primetime Deion Sanders, and we are back in business inside the red zone. Looking down the field, another screen pass here on third down, and it's Chris Johnson picking up the first down, getting us down to the about the 10-yard line here, and it's going to be another read option. He doesn't see it coming, and we're easily going to be able to walk in for another touchdown with quarterback Walter Payton. And this game is quickly getting out of hand. My opponent continues to try to get yards on the ground. It is just not happening for him. He's got a good running back with Dickerson, but my defense is just swallowing it up. Gotcha, bitch. Altron Verner's third interception of this game. His fourth turnover forced. And that is just something else, man. He is having the game of his life in this one. Unfortunately, it's not happening in a closer game, but I'll take it anyway. I love to see Verner making big plays. Play action here. Throwing it down the field and Trinden Holiday with an easy touchdown. It's now 35 to nothing, and I know that if I get the ball back, I'm just going to be running out the clock. There's no reason for me to run up the score. I'm not trying to do that, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody, but I do want to walk out of here with a win. And it's Dominique Rogers, Cromartie underneath, gets the interception, our fifth pick forced in this game. And like I said, that was about going to do it because I'm ready to run out the clock. 
We're now 2-0 in the season, starting off strong just like we did last year. It's the rookie second string division. Our undefeated season stays intact, and it looks like we're going to be able to make another attempt at the playoffs here this season. Last year we choked in the Super Bowl, but I am trying my best this year to not let that happen, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you could leave a comment as well, I'd greatly appreciate that. And of course, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.